So we wanted to see how dangerous those landslides can be and how you can protect yourself if you see one out on the roads. Don Hamilton from the Oregon Department of Transportation joining us live this morning to talk about exactly that. Good morning, Don. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to be with you. So landslides, I mean, what do people need to be looking out for on the roads this time of year? Well, the most important spot clearly is when you're in an area with steep hills right next to you in there. With all the rain that we've been having uh, this year, it's going to be a much greater danger than we've seen in the past, not to mention uh, in the wildfire areas where the dangers are even more. Motorists need to be very aware and watch out in their circumstances to see where they are. Yeah, I mean, are there any signs that one could be potentially coming or are they just, you know, random? That's a tricky one. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes when you see, if you know your road and you see a little trickle, a little pebble slide down there, that could be an indicator of something that is going to happen. It might not be, but that's something that we all need to look out for. That's what it really amounts to. It's about, it's about making sure you're aware of your circumstances and being extra alert. Yeah, I mean, I know drivers are certainly hoping that they're not actually caught in one or, or you know, driving through an area as something's happening. But if you're one of the first to come on a scene and you do see a landslide, uh, what should you do? Well, I think call 911 is probably the best bet you can do right off the bat. Let people know there's a danger on the road. We need to get those roads closed as quickly as we can when there's a problem out there. At that point, we're going to assess them, figure out what's wrong, figure out what needs to be done, make sure there's nothing else coming down on the road. Hmm, okay, and so again, you know, we have those uh, the fire scarred areas. Uh, are, are, are you going to be monitoring a lot of those areas? I know years ago we had that one that was right on Highway 26 past the tunnel. I mean, what spots are you guys really focusing on? Well, th that's one of our trouble spots here in the Portland area in the past. We put a lot of work into that area just immediately west of the Vista Ridge Tunnel. Other areas we're concerned about Highway 30. We just had one out near Astoria. Uh, also a 99E down south of uh, Oregon City. And also in a lot of places in the gorge, we get a lot of problems out in there. We do an assessment. We sometimes, there's a lot of different things we can do. We can put in mesh netting. We can put in containment basements. basins. There's a lot of things that, that we have, but it depends on the circumstances. We have to take a look. Yeah, okay, so switching gears here, we got a little bit of time left. I wanted to ask you about this year's winter outlook. Uh, how is ODOT feeling about everything? I know last year uh, was when we saw the um, this extra salt storage going in out at Cascade Locks for I-84. Are, are you confident that we are ready for anything the rest of this winter season is going to throw at us? I think our crews are very ready. Obviously, they've been very busy up in the mountains, in the mountain passes where we've been getting a lot of snow. Uh, in the Portland area, it hasn't been too bad, but we're ready for this. We train for this. We certainly haven't had to use a lot of our resources yet. We've got plenty of salt, plenty of de-icer, plenty of sand, and the crews are all ready to go. So we're ready with whatever happens. Yeah, definitely seems like that salt is effective for is. sure. Yes, I I'm know always, there are mixed I'm, opinions about I'm it. I'm always but... bracing for that February surprise, right. though. We still, oh, got yeah. some, we still got some winter left. I don't know. <laughs> well, Don Hamilton from ODOT, thanks for being with us this morning and uh, keeping us aware as we drive around mm -hmm. our beautiful state. Thanks. Good to be with you. Mm -hmm.